Seven Deadly Sins. What are you greedy about? Love. Please explain. Love. 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 Um, I, when, when, let's say I'm in a relationship or with my friends, uh, I always want to make sure that there's no uh, distrust going on, that these people are loyal to me because I'm like that mm -hmm. and I feel like when I give so much of myself, I want to hog all that love. But it's hard to control other people's emotions. Yeah, it's impossible. So does that cause some anxiety for you? Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's very But you know what? I like the purpose. I like the thought. Okay, I appreciate it. You're welcome. I feel the love. Who are you envious of? Um, Again, besides me. No, not Lil Wayne. Um, <laughs> you love rappers. Oh, Will Smith. Oh, he is. This dude's just killing it. Killing it doesn't it. matter what he does. He's like, I'll just jump out of a helicopter and make millions. <laughs> I I'll go and make the best show of the 90s that everyone's going to reference for the rest of their lives. He reinvents himself in so many ways and is so relevant to every generation. He made the Miami song. Welcome to Miami. He's the man, Big Willie style. Do you want to be kind of a multifaceted type of talent? I want to be Will Smith. Okay. We're the same height, not the same build. I want more muscle. Would you have an open relationship like him and Jada? Ah, uh, no, that's I can't do that. Yeah, because you're greedy with love. See, so, it's true, honestly. but it's good. It's good. Is that true, by the way? I don't know if that was ever confirmed. I don't know. I felt I like there was rumors, and then they were like, no, no, it's not. I think it was confirmed, but I don't want to be the reason. <laughs> <laughs> But I support all forms of love. Okay. What are you gluttonous about? Cookies and cream milkshakes. Ooh. That's my, oh, no joke. I'll order two at a time delivered to my house. Why two? Because it's not enough. To <laughs> but I, just, I love them. No, seriously, like if I could just go now, and there's a place by my house called Schmeckeries. Ooh, yes. It's basically like warm cookies that they break up and put into the ice cream. It's just crack. It's crack. But... You're primarily pretty healthy. I mean, yeah, within reason. You're not like... Special. I cheat. You cheat. Okay. I cheat. Not in love. Not in love. I mean, anyway. What was the last time you experienced extreme wrath? Is that like anger? Yep. I'm a New Yorker, so I'm not great with some Um <laughs> Why was I experience of anger? God, I feel like something just happened recently where I got really angry. Do you get angry a lot? Mm, not really. But when I do, I get really angry. Because mm. Like most of my friends have it in the receiving. Honestly, it happens when there's some sort of betrayal, mm -hmm. and not even betrayal towards me. Mm -hmm. um, like if someone uh, like bothers my friends or mm -hmm. even something like that. Actually, I got down into a, a, a huge fight. This is a little while ago. It's probably like five years ago. I was in uh, was it Dream, whatever. Uh, what's that place in meatpacking? The hotel that has multi stories. What? Oh my God. Gansevoort. Gansevoort. But Gansevoort Midtown. <laughs> I was against Martin Midtown, and uh, someone was bothering this girl that I was with, but she wasn't my date or anything. Mm -hmm. And she asked me to tell him to stop, and I told him. And then uh, two guys approached me. One guy hit me, so then I knocked one guy out, and I didn't realize they were there were like 15 people. They all jumped me, so I was like fighting How 15 old are you? people. Somewhere in my early twenties. <laughs> this is yesterday. <laughs> yeah, this is my early twenties. And the crazy thing about that story is not to go completely off on a tangent, but there was my friend was out. And he was like flashing cash and he hired a bodyguard. Six foot nine MMA fighter. Like this his hand is bigger than my whole body. And guess what? That was the time this body I've never been out with a bodyguard. This one time in my life that I get into a fight with twelve people, he took his girlfriend to the bathroom and escorted her. So I was left alone to fight off twelve dudes. It was a really good happen? time. Nothing really. I kept them off until security came and all that. But okay, good. Yeah, I was really angry then. Like, you got some street cred from me. My vein was rest. like popping out of my head. Yeah. That yeah. Oh, that's when you know the anger's there. For sure. What time are you a sloth besides when you're eating here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I'm not on camera, if I'm not in the hospital, I'm a sloth. But I feel like so that's... like 50%. <laughs> no, but for, I'm the same way. Like, I'm an introvert, extrovert. Like, I'm on, and then I need to be off to refuel. Yeah. And you have two dogs. You guys must cuddle. Yeah. Uh, well, I live with one of my dogs, mm -hmm. and he, unfortunately, is incredibly hot all the time. He's so, a bear. Yeah, he's a bear. So he will come up to me, cuddle for a minute, and then he's like, I'm out. I'm going to the kitchen tile, bathroom tile, whatever it is. Has he changed since his Instagram fame? Yes. Total narcissist. That's why he won't cuddle with me. This guy's like, I don't need you. See, I got a cat, and I'm like, I want her to live a normal cat life. Yeah. I want her to know what it's like to not be recognized and have to respond to the end. Do what I did. Delete her Instagram and let her see what that feels like. You're right. You're going to be a good dad. I think so.
Good You'll be the, the bad cop of the parents. <laughs> <laughs> I will delete your shit. Um, this is a tough one, but you're smart. When was the last time you let your pride get in the way of something? Uh, that's a good question. I know it really gets at everyone. I should warn people before. No, you don't, that's not fun then. I like that attitude. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you should have told me. I'm like, maybe you should come with fucking ideas. Maybe you should come with life stories. Um, <laughs> Get pride and get the better of me. It could be in a professional setting, yeah. in a relationship fight. <sighs> Those are the only two things I could think of. <laughs> Wait, yeah, where else can that happen? <laughs> um, dude, I have no idea. I don't know, I try to make sure that doesn't happen, but you know what, also our memories are really imperfect in the sense that it deletes these things, so you try not You're, to remember. It's true. Do you, how, what's your relationship with your ego? Oh, I have a good one. Mm -hmm. um, so my sister and I had a little bit of a falling out mm, like a while ago, really long time ago. And we didn't talk for a long time. And it, after like a few years went by, we really should have started talking because like I want to see my nephews and hang out with them. And we, we started hanging out and everything's fine, but it was my ego that was holding me back. Or not ego so much, but you know, pride that it was like, I don't, it wasn't me who was wrong, so why am I gonna reach out? But in life, like, sometimes you just need to understand that other people are not gonna do that for you, and if you wanna live a fulfilling life, you have to take the first Yeah, step. like realistically, your relationship with your family is more important than like, if you were right and wrong, with sure. like a certain disagreement. Yeah. You have one more, you're doing well. Okay. Do I get a million dollars? It's like once. I did once to be a millionaire, by the way, and I lost. It's really embarrassing. I feel like most people do though. I got ten thousand dollars for stand up. Were you Susan nervous? G. When I'm nervous, I like can't form a sentence, so I can imagine they'd be like, "What letter does banana start with?" And I'd be like, "I don't know." <laughs> no, they were literally like, "What uh, fish was in Finding Nemo?" And I'm like, "Oh God, <laughs> what was the name of the fish in Finding Nemo?" And, like, <laughs> and so they tell you this is kind of like an Easter egg. Before you go on the show, mm -hmm. they say that you know to slow down the easy questions. Don't just rush to give an answer. Do like read all the choices mm -hmm. on camera so we have time and we can fill the space. Mm -hmm. So you're reading it like, what was the main fish in Disney's Finding Dash? <laughs> and I'm like, Nemo, <laughs> Bailey, Chimichurri, Steak. I'm like, ah, this is a tough one. Nemo, A. Got final answer? I'm like, wait, is it Chimichurri? Yeah, okay, let's go. And then you're like, I love Chimichurri. <laughs> Audience, did we like to meet Jerry? Oh my god, the audience let me down actually. I'm kind of pissed about that. They so got their thing wrong? Yeah, the one I asked. Did you question. Who was the. Um, Chris Hansen. The Chris Harrison? Harrison? Oh, sorry. It's okay. it's Chris Hansen actually is the guy that knows how to catch a predator. <laughs> 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 That's messed up. <laughs> Chris Harrison's probably looking at you as bachelor material. Don't go on it, please don't. He said something here about that. Don't do it. That's not me. Yeah, I don't think so. So, final question. When was the last time you lusted over someone besides me? In what movie was it? <laughs> um, About to find out. Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, um, yes. Margot Robbie. Margot, Margot Robbie. Yeah, See, she is so Street. useful. I don't know anything. Margot and Robbie. And also in Focus, the Will Smith movie. Why do you think I'm jealous of Will Smith? The thing is... <laughs> this is it. This okay. is all coming to... Firstly, yeah. I have two things. We started with Will Smith, and now we're back at Will Smith <laughs> with the final. First of all, I thought you liked brunettes. Okay, I, I have no type. I've okay. dated everyone in it. That was disappointing. I mean, all females, but... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, nowadays, I just want to make sure that... <laughs> so, to wrap this up, what do you do to cope with your health? What's something you want people to I take away from this? I go over my hell all the time and understand that as humans, we're all going to go through hell. And as long as we take something away from that hell and learn some, something from it, you're going to get better and the hell is going to get a little bit easier. I love that. Dr. Mike, thanks for coming to hell with me. Thank you so much. <laughs>